In this video, we're going to practice using the distributive property. I'll leave a link to this worksheet below, but you go to kudasoftware.com, infinite algebra one, free worksheets, and it's using the distributive property. So we're going to simplify each expression. Now normally, we'd use order of operations and do what's inside of the parentheses first. So that means we would do a plus e. However, we cannot combine the terms a and 8 together, but we can simplify this with the distributive property. And for the distributive property, we're going to take the negative 6 on the outside of the parentheses, multiply it to the a, and we're also going to multiply that negative 6 to the 8, leaving the addition in between each of the new terms. So we have negative 6 times a plus negative 6 times 8. Negative 6 times a is just a negative 6a plus negative 6 times 8 is going to be a negative 48. Adding a negative is the same as subtracting a positive. So we're going to have negative 6a minus 48 as the simplified expression in number 1. Number 2 we're going to do 4 times 1, and then 4 times 9x, adding those two separate terms. 4 times 1 plus 4 times 9x. 4 times 1 is a positive 4. 4 times 9x, we're going to multiply the 4 by the 9 to get 36, and then multiply that by the x. So 4 plus 36x is a simplified expression for number 2. Number 3, we're going to multiply the 6 by the negative 5 in and the 6 by the 7, and we're adding those two separate terms. So 6 times a negative 5 in plus 6 times 7. 6 times negative 5 in is going to be a negative 30 times n, and then we're adding 6 times 7, which is 42. The answer to number 3 is negative 30 n plus 42. For number 4, we're going to use the distributive property again, but instead of the number being on the left-hand side of the parentheses, like it was in number 2, it's on the right-hand side, but we're still doing the same method. This 2 will get multiplied by the first term, and then the 2 will get multiplied by the second term. And we're using addition in between those two terms. So we have 2 times 9m plus 2 times 10. 2 times 9m, 2 times 9 is 18, times m plus 2 times 10 is 20. So for number 4, our answer is 18m plus 20. For number 5, we have a negative 8, and we're multiplying negative 8 by negative 4, and then we're multiplying negative 8 by 3n. But there's subtraction in between, so we can do this one of two ways. I'll show you the first way, and then I'll show you the second way. We can take this negative 8, multiply it by the negative 4, minus that negative 8 times 3n. Notice that as opposed to the addition like it was before, we're doing subtraction now. So negative 8 times a negative 4 is going to be a positive number, and that's going to be a positive 32. Positive 32 minus negative 8 times a 3n is going to be a negative 24n. When you subtract a negative, you're really adding the positive. 32 minus negative 24n can be rewritten as 32 plus 24n. Now let me show you the other way to do this. If you're more comfortable with addition, you can go ahead and adjust the second term within the parentheses. So you can have negative 4, and when you subtract a positive, you're adding a negative. So plus a negative 3n. And then that's all multiplied by negative 8. Distribute the negative 8, multiply it by the first term, then the second term, 
and now we have addition as opposed to subtraction. Negative 8 times negative 4 plus negative 8 times a negative 3n. Negative 8 times negative 4 is a positive 32 plus negative 8 times negative 3 is a positive 24 times n. Either way, to get to the simplified expression for number 5 is acceptable. Moving on to the next problem, number 6, we're going to do 8 times negative b, and then 8 times 4, subtracting in between. And if you want to, you can switch this to adding a negative 4, but I'm going to just leave this as subtraction. So we have 8 times negative b minus 8 times 4. Here we have positive times a negative, so this is going to be negative 8b minus 8 times 4 is 32. And number 7, we're multiplying 5 by 1 and then subtracting 5 times 7n. So we have 5 times 1 minus 5 times 7n. 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 7n is 35n. So the simplified expression for number 7 is 5 minus 35n. Number 8, we're distributing this negative 6 to the x and then adding that to the negative 6 times 4. So negative 6 times x plus negative 6 times 4. Negative 6 times x is simply negative 6x plus negative 6 times 4 is negative 24. And remember, when you're adding a negative, you are subtracting the positive. So negative 6x minus 24 is the answer for number 8. Number 9, we're going to distribute this 5 and have subtraction in between those two terms. 5 times 3m minus 5 times 6. 5 times 3m is 15m minus 5 times 6, which is 30. In number 10, we're distributing this negative 4. And there's addition in between the two terms. So negative 4 times negative 6p plus negative 4 times 7. Negative 4 times negative 6p is going to give us a positive 24p. Plus a negative times a positive is a negative, so negative 4 times 7 is a negative 28. Adding a negative is the same as subtracting a positive. So we're going to get 24p minus 28. 11, we have 5 times b, and then we're going to subtract that by 5 times 1. So we're going to get 5b minus 5 times 1, which is just 5. In number 12, we're distributing the 5 to the x and the 5 to the 9. So we're going to get 5x plus 5 times 9. 5x plus 5 times 9 is 45. I'll stop on this problem so that we have the first page of this worksheet completed. Continue on to the next video and we'll go ahead and do the second page, which will be numbers 13 through 24. If you have any questions on the distributive property, please feel free to comment below or go to my lesson videos for the distributive property tutorial. And as always, like this video and subscribe to my channel.